So the teaching fellowship is um, essentially we're pseudo faculty. So we sit in this sort of nebulous area in between uh, students and being faculty. We, uh, we basically will work three, four month semesters um, interspersed with our third and fourth year rotations curriculum. Um, and during that time, we give lectures to the first and second year medical students, specifically in their osteopathic principles and practice course. We, uh, we will give, we will stand up and give two to three lectures a semester in front of them. Um, we also have uh, a medical school up in Oregon that we actually stream some of those lectures live uh, up there as well. Um, and in addition, when we're not up on stage actually teaching, we have a group of about 12 uh, first or second year students that in each section of the lab where we actually help to teach and table train is what we call it. Um, sort of go over the techniques, how to perform them, um, and then answer any questions as the students are learning, um, you know, learning all of these many techniques that we go over. Uh, we also will write test questions and participate in our own individual projects. Some people will be involved in helping to write textbooks, in editing books for some of the other faculty members. Um, other people will be involved in advocacy, so we're sort of representatives of uh, Western University and then we'll go into the community, go to universities, especially in the Southern California area, um, and speak about what osteopathic medicine is um, and sort of give demonstrations uh, to encourage pre-meds to think about applying to osteopathic medical school. In addition to some of our teaching duties, we also have um, a lot of other activities that we participate in as well. Uh, we do workshops um, with faculty members. They'll come in usually once a week for two hours, sit down with the fellows, and really help to help us to hone our skills, give us advice, and um, you know, in their experiences in certain areas on um, you know how they go about participate, you know, certain techniques that they like to use. Um, new philosophies and give us sort of broaden our, our thinking in terms of our osteopathic profession. Uh, we will also do run a clinic. Uh, we run it twice a week uh, for about four hours in the morning, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we will have usually patients. Uh, patients are people from Western University, uh, some of the other faculty from other colleges, um, and some of the, uh, the other workers and staff that come through. We see a lot of musculoskeletal complaints, a lot of people with back pain, uh, neck, shoulder. Um, we'll see some, some people coming in for treatment for uh, either an upper respiratory infection or something like that from time to time. Um, and we, the fellows, get to actually use our skills and treat these, treat these people, even though we're not you know, necessarily doctors yet. We haven't graduated. We still have the chance to see patients and treat, and it's a wonderful experience. Um, we, of course, have a faculty member that oversees us, make sure that, you know, we, we present our patients to the faculty member and they will give us advice on what they would do and anything else to consider. Um, it's a really, really fun environment uh, to be able to use our skills. We also will participate in a journal club once a week as well. Um, this is to help us uh, with our, or especially our research, um, our research development. A lot of us are interested in research and there are some of us who are, you know, further ahead than others in terms of how they dissect the literature, how they, um, you know, how they think about uh, the different types of research designs and things like that. And so we're able to sit down with current, you know, or past osteopathic literature, dissect it, break it down, you know, what could they have done better? What can we learn from this? Will we take the things that we that were found in this article and apply them to our clinical practice. And this is helpful not just for the department and not just for osteopathic medicine in general, um, but it's also very helpful for us in our careers because we are now a part of lifelong learning and new research is coming out all the time. And to be able to understand and know, you know, different research designs and flaws and how those, uh, how those can affect, you know, our clinical practice in the future is very important. And I don't know if we you know, amongst all the, the myriad of other things we learn during medical school, sometimes it can get lost. So it's a good opportunity for us to hone those skills as well. Um, I mean, one of the most wonderful things about the fellowship is, 
you know, essentially what a fellowship is. It's a group of people coming together um, for, you know, kind of a common goal. And that's exactly what, uh, what we have in, in each other, the other fellows. I have, you know, 10 of my closest friends, um, you know, they, we all support each other through this whole process of medical school. We work together, um, you know, if something needs to be covered, we're there for each other. Um, and it makes for a really, really uh, a special bond. Um, and I think that it's something that will carry us all the way into our future careers as well. I would count any of these people as uh, some of my closest friends um, and, uh, and colleagues. So fellowship is a special thing.